What's up, guys? Computer MD of Gilbert here, and today, or it's actually tonight now, um, we are doing something called Wix My Website, and we are building a full website in Wix, but we're going to break it into separate parts. So, uh, the first part is, well, deciding your template. Now, I've been using Wix for a long time, I would say probably two years now, so, um, I'd be comfortable saying that I, I personally think I've almost mastered Wix. So, uh, I don't really use pre-made templates anymore, and I think my way is better, just, just an opinion, but I like to go to the blank templates and choose from one of the blank templates. Now, um, the website we're going to build is, uh, I'm going to choose top navigation. Uh, I always like to choose one that has a navigation menu. Uh, just in case um, because sometimes people have trouble getting the menu back so I just like to have uh, the navigation menu but um, we're going to make a website and I pressed edit by the way that directly brings you to the uh, HTML editor and uh, as I was saying the website we are going to build is going to be um, just a website for Wix my website so we're literally making a website for the series we're doing on YouTube. So first step, we're going to do our heading, okay, our header. I'm going to delete all of this because this is just sample stuff they give you for, actually, sorry. I'm going to do footer. Now, social icons. You could have social icons. You click it, um, and these will come up. It will give you your social icons. You could change the icon which will bring you to a whole bunch of different icons uh, this will change your URL where you want it to go but um, I don't need any social icons and by the way we're doing the footer first that was my apologies uh, there's something weird with me I don't know it's I always like to get the footer done first otherwise I feel like I will forget about it and then that when I go through the site and other people go through the site they'll be like wait why does it say at 2023 by my site name proudly made by wix.com no that's not what i wanted to say so being we don't have any social uh icons that we need right now i am going to take out the social icon just by hitting the backspace button delete um now footer not the i honestly all my footers are nothing special i just uh change it to the correct year my name will just we're gonna do Wix my website and proudly made by um, computer MD we'll do that and then I don't really like to have that underline so I just un underline it <laughs> and just center that up there now we'll go on to our header so always I like to just leave the navigation menu up in the header right now but uh, I'm going to show you how to create a cool header in my opinion and all from scratch obviously you're gonna start by clicking strip okay once you have your strip it's gonna surround your uh, navigation bar I don't want that I pull it down a little bit I resize the strip till it's about eh maybe that size I pull it up to the top okay so now I have a strip at the top now I want this strip to be blue what I do is I double click it okay by double clicking it it brings me to this little thing strip settings and you could change the style then I'm gonna go to personalized strip when I'm in there uh, I like the bevel screen it's called and then you choose your background right here and I like that blue and then the border uh, blue a lot of times you can't really tell the border but on those but uh, I'll have a blue then make sure you click OK on those two and then X out this one now you have a nice little uh, not not a full header but a nice little uh, you know top side up there and now what I always like to do on there is I like to add uh, a button now what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna and I, I know this is gonna be confusing to you but I'm gonna add a box that's 
medium size I would say maybe that I'm gonna bring it up here on to here I'm gonna drag it over to the right part these grid lines show for mobile um, so I always like to stay in the grid lines if you want to see it on mobile at least I double click that. I'm going to change the style. I'm going to personalize the box. I'm going to change it to this uh, this kind of. Mm, okay, we'll go with this box. I want the color to be. We'll just do this color. Okay, and then I want my border to be. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just go with the white border. I like the white border. So then I'm just going to press OK. Press OK. Now you may be saying, well, you just have a box there. No. And that's not a button either. Just so you know, that's a box. Now I'm going to go to Add. And I'm going to go to Apps. I'm going to scroll down. Member Login button. Uh, I think this is a very useful button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the button in this box. Okay. And um, don't want to save yet. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of make it the size of the box so it's in the middle. And I'm going to change the size of the button and I'm going to personalize this button and I'm going to make um, the text white on it. And sorry, this I get this pop up at, all the time. And uh, yeah, so I made the text white and um, now you have it. You can see you could watch. We have to save this, we'll call it Wix, my website. You have to, and you could always change, just so you know, you could always change the name of your website. So, I'm just going to save it as that right now. Now, if you go up to preview, this will let you preview your, well, it saves, it goes through its little save process here, it's real quick. Then, um, so yeah, it tells you it's saved, you haven't published yet. Now preview, you can preview your site real time. So we'll preview it. You scroll over here, you click on that button and bam. You could sign up or you could log in right here. Pretty cool. So uh, really all you need is the text to make the official member login button. But I always like to doctor it up and make it look good and put it in a box. I personally just think it looks better. Um, now the middle is your choice for what you would like to do with it uh, right now I'm going to add a title in the middle and I will show you that that title is going to be in a second okay double click there and that's how you could edit the text uh, I really like this Chelsea market font I'm gonna go with a white color uh, the Chelsea market looks kind of just like a chalkboard so I really like it so Wix my website I'm gonna have the title there and then uh, I just I like to have the uh, sides in how the web like the text wrapped well and even with these little uh, in the box so I don't like it to be far spread out when it's only this short so we're just gonna make it uh, you know in the middle of the site uh, which my website now uh, right now we're not gonna put anything over here if I to if I decide to maybe uh, later on that'll be fine but uh, right now I don't want anything over there I know it looks like incomplete and we probably will add something at some point but right now I do not want anything over there uh, I haven't decided what I'm gonna have over there okay now the next part I'm just gonna move my nav uh, sorry navigation sometimes I'll say uh, slang web design words like nav and stuff like that so just bear with me on that so but what I am gonna do is I'm going to go back to add go back to shapes and lines and I'm gonna add another strip now the difference this time is this strip will come up right to that and uh, we'll make it wherever our header so we could adjust how long and how big our header is and um, now we could have it just like that so that means there's a you could even 
keep a little space in between there if you want or you could just connect it straight on and then I don't want that color I'll just go with uh, we'll switch it to Babel screen uh, I'll go with yeah I'll go with this color okay and from there remember to always press okay I almost did that um from there you have a cool little screen here you could I'm just gonna for the heck of it because like I said I'm not a hundred percent sure what images and what what uh, I'm going to add yet with text or anything you could uh, maybe just add an image there and then I'll use one from our old my old thing called uh, expert coder um, looks kinda cool you know and then you could add a title Whoops. If that ever happens, you mess up, they make an undo button. Um, so, that's pretty convenient. Uh, maybe your title, change it to Chelsea Market, and you could be like, Expert Coder, and then you could just bring that right here. Maybe you're like, ah, want it to be a little bigger and you change it to uh, heading XL so now you're definitely a, an extra big ex, ex, <laughs> extra big expert coder and uh, I mean this is like a super basic uh, header but um, you know I uh, will throughout the series we'll add stuff and we will uh, change certain things and it'll you know continue looking good but as of right now I think as a header this looks decent and whoop undo button there we are and um, I, it's fine with me so this was part one of which my website the building series we did the footer and the header and uh, we'll probably add more to the header as we move on but uh, join us for part two uh, coming up too thank you very much Please subscribe and uh, give a thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions on what we did. Thank you and uh, see you.